We're going to get a Christmas tree today because we don't have a Christmas tree yet and it's already like mid-December. It's, it's Christmas like next week. And we always get real Christmas trees so we got to go to the farm and go pick one out. I think the dope thing about getting a real Christmas tree opposed to a fake one is that it makes the whole house smell like a pine tree. It just gives off more of a Christmassy vibe. That's what we're all out here for. We're vibe hunters. We're hunting for the vibes. And you can't get that Christmassy vibe with a freaking plastic ass tree. No offense to anyone out there that has plastic trees. Just, you're wrong. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging Oh Christmas tree Oh Christmas tree Thy leaves are so unchanging Not only Christmas tree acquired Green when summer's here But also when it's cold and drear Oh Christmas tree Ho, ho, ho. The Christmas tree's up now, but there's no ornaments on it because we don't have any. Wait a minute, I have an idea. We don't need ornaments when we have... Tech decks. <laughs> Fingerboard life hacks. The reason that you're actually at this video right now. We're gonna be talking about some fingerboard life hacks which I've used and some that I've just found on the internet. But before we get into that, we gotta know what a life hack is. So, a li life hack. The internet definition is a strategy or technique adopted in order to manage one's time and daily activities in a more efficient way. Life hack. Hack your life. It's time to take hold of your life. Make sure to buy my book, Five Easy Steps to Life Hackery. It's not a get rich quick scheme, it's a uh... Who's that? Oh, Ty Lopez, what's good? Yeah, no, I'm just pitching it to them now. Oh, they're a bunch of idiots, yeah, I know. Now we know what life hacks are, we can get into fingerboard life hacks, which will hopefully make your fingerboarding a little bit easier, if not the if not the slightest bit easier. I know for me, it sure has. And I'm sure this can work for you as well. The first fingerboard life hack, when you grip a new board, don't throw away the excess grip. You gotta save that and use it as non-sliders for ramps. This is some grip I put on a board the other day, but I did not throw it away. Mm-mm, no, no, no. As you can see, I've cut it up. I've put one piece on each corner as non-sliders, and now it doesn't move. Yeah, I'm a hacker. This next hack is one that I've been using for a long time, so I don't know if you can really see it right there, but my grip tape is pretty filthy. Now you might be thinking, well, how do you clean fingerboard grip tape? Well, it's very easy, actually. All you need is some tape. Now we just take the masking tape, pull out a bit like that, and then place it onto the deck, like so. Press it down a little bit, so the tape can grab onto all of the, the dirt, and then peel it off. Pretty much back to brand new. If you've never done this, or you ne haven't cleaned your grip tape in a while, you'll be surprised how different it feels and how much better it is. I use masking tape because it's not super strong and it won't pull the actual grip off of your board. You can also use this technique to wear in new grip tape. If you just get the tape, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, it wears in the grip quite a bit so you don't have to go through that process. That's one of the most useful ones that I know. The next tech! It seems like a lot of these hacks have to do with tape. But this next one is for cleaning your wheels. Now I don't know about you, but my wheels get pretty dirty because I have urethane wheels. They pick up dirt really easily. I didn't get that. 
I didn't summon you, Siri. So what I found out works really good is if you get some tape, I have a roll of duct tape. I reckon the duct tape works better because it pulls a lot harder and it gets everything off of the wheels. So these things are pretty dirty right now, but after this, you'll see the difference. There we go. Back to white. If you have plastic wheels, you can just get a normal A4 piece of paper and just go in circles on it and it will take all the dirt off and you'll be fine. This hack is for all my brothers out there and sisters, we don't discriminate on this channel, that don't have a proper fingerboard and opt for the modest tech deck. When you're going to the store and buying tech decks, you might not know this, but they're not all the same. You gotta make sure you take a more detailed look at the boards because these are the tech decks you don't want to get. You might be like, why? They look fine. No! These ones, the trucks aren't very good and they have plastic bushings. But if you keep looking, you can find tech decks that have rubber bushings and shaped trucks and they're the exact same price. They're just hiding amongst the other ones. This one's for everyone out there that doesn't actually have fingerboard ramps. I have this novel of The Beach. It is around a 430 page book and perfect as a fingerboard box. <laughs> I ripped this towel rack off of the wall. Towel racks make pretty much perfect fingerboard rails. And the third obstacle you can use at home is your bathroom sink. That's right, a lot of the time a bathroom sink is all you need. This is one I actually got from Cam. If you have a fingerboard obstacle that's really light, the ramp just moves all the time, you can go down to the store and get blue tech. I'm just at the local store right now. No bebe in trolley. I'm sorry, no air sitting. Never mind, I was wrong. You're allowed to sit in midair. Put blue tech on your obstacles to stop them moving. For example, I have a lot of tech deck obstacles which I use for videos, and they're generally really light, so you can't really go into them with too much force because they'll move. But with blue tech, you can put that on the bottom of them, and they stay still, man. Solid as a rock. Yes, solid as the rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And those are all of my fingerboard hacks. I hope some of them helped you in your fingerboarding, maybe make your life a teeny bit easier. But as for right now, that's all. Is that the doorbell? Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, sick. I got this in the mail the other day. This was sent to me by the people at Braille Skateboarding. They hit me up after one of my videos and were like, Hey, can we send you this thing? And I was like, yeah, you can send me that thing. And now the thing has arrived. It's a handboard. Thank you everyone at Braille for sending me this handboard. It is a big plasticky boy. I and mean, I'm not that good at handboarding, but I'll see what I can do on this. That's about all the handboarding tricks I can do. But thank you so much, Braille, for sending me this. It's 
It's pretty cool. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to come back tomorrow for the next one. And also, if you want to support the channel, I have new merch that you can go check out. Here it is right here. I think it turned out really cool. I designed all of them myself because I don't want to pay for someone to design stuff for me and because I actually really like to design things. We have this fingerboard wheat cut 3 t-shirt. It is uh, inspired by my favorite hardware store. I'm sure we all know what that is. We have the finger surfing world championship t-shirt. We also have two new colorways for the Tony Fork design. Here it is. Here it is the yellow. This is honestly probably my favorite one. And we have navy shirts with yellow. And all of these come in hoodies as well apart from that one. So yeah, if you want to go support the channel, the link's in the description. If not, that's cool. Watching the videos is honestly enough. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Cool. All right. Bye. It's pizza time. <laughs> pizza time. Oh, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> It'll take five days by car But we don't know where to go And I don't know if you know Or I don't know if you see But baby, what's going on with